Hi everyone! As you can see from outside my window, a storm is brewing here in Southern California. It's freezing cold, windy, and raining. That's what I call hot pot weather. Yes! Today I have decided to make a Thai Tum Yum hot pot for my family to help warm us up. Our hot pot will consist of a flavorful broth, some yummy seafood, delicious veggies, and of course, we gotta have some noodles. So let's begin by making the Thai Tum Yum broth. Mince a few garlic cloves, chop a shallot, thinly slice a galangal, pound the lemongrass, then cut the lemongrass into two inch sections. Slice the lime leaves in half, Cut the tomatoes into wedges. Then open up a can of pineapples and drain the juice into a glass. Add some ice and enjoy a drink. Then set the pineapples aside. Next, cut the lime into wedges. Slice the Thai chilies on the diagonal. And wash the Thai basils. Now add a little bit of oil to a pan and turn the heat on to medium. Once the oil's hot, toss in the chopped shallots and minced garlic. Then saute until the shallots are translucent. Now add in all the aromatics. Throw in the lemongrass, galangal, and lime leaves. Saute until the lemongrass is slightly softened. Then add in the pineapples, and tomatoes. Saute for about two minutes or until the tomatoes are slightly cooked. Next, pour in the organic chicken broth. Also add in some Tum Yum paste. Now we are going to season our broth with some fish sauce, sugar, chicken seasoning, and I'm going to throw in a few Thai chilies for some extra heat. Increase the heat to high and just before the broth comes to a boil, immediately turn off the heat. Then lastly, add in the fresh squeezed lime juice. If you want to, you can skim off some of the foam from the top of the broth. Our flavorful, yummy licious broth is now done. You can just leave the broth on the stove for right now while we go and prep all the other ingredients needed for our hot pot. Now we are going to need to boil some vermicelli rice stick noodles. Just cook the noodles according to the directions on the back of the package. If you do not know how to boil this type of noodle, just go to my website at www.eatwithemily.com or just click on the link in the description box below to learn how. Then, set the noodles aside to dry. Next, wash the Napa cabbage and cut into bite-sized pieces. Wash the button mushrooms and slice them in half. Also wash the bok choy and again cut into bite-sized pieces. Drain the straw mushrooms and give them a quick rinse. Drain the baby corn and cut them in two thirds. Drain the tofu, give it a quick rinse, and cut it into bite sized pieces. I had originally planned to add some tofu to my hot pot, but I placed it in my refrigerator and then just completely forgot about it. So be sure to add some tofu to your hot pot, but only if you want to. Next, slice the imitation crab meat sticks at an angle or you could just cut them into smaller sections. Then defrost the squid and set it aside. Wash the mussels under some cold water with a tablespoon of salt. Then rinse the mussels again to remove the salt. Drain and set them aside. Just like the mussels, we're also going to wash the shrimp under some cold water with a tablespoon of salt. 
Then just rinse off the salt. Trim off the whiskers and legs and devein the shrimp but do not remove the shell as it will add flavor to the broth later. For the fish balls, all you gotta do is pour them into a bowl. And that's it folks. The prep work for all the raw ingredients is done. The only thing we have left to do is to make a lemon juice dip for the seafood. Cut a lemon into quarters. Squeeze a lemon wedge into a small dipping dish. Add a pinch of salt. Also add a pinch of black pepper. And this will be your dip for the mussels, shrimp, and squid. Alrighty, we've got our Tum Yum broth ready, noodles cooked, seafood and veggies prepped, and our dip is done. We can now transfer the Tum Yum broth to the hot pot but be sure to only fill it halfway because the broth will rise as you continue to add items to the hot pot. Set the rest of the leftover broth aside as you will need it for later. In the middle of dinner, once the broth starts to boil down, just replenish the hot pot with more of the reserved broth. As you continue to add items to your hot pot, it will dilute your soup. So adding the reserved broth will keep your soup flavorful. Now place the hot pot in the center of the table and garnish the broth with some Thai basils. Turn the dial on your hot pot to high and bring the broth to a boil. Once it has come to a boil, first drop in the items that will take the longest to cook. You will also want to drop in the seafood first as it will add more flavor to your broth. Just be sure to keep an eye on the shrimp though as it will only take a minute or two to cook and fish it out once it has turned pink. After adding in the seafood, you can then add in the rest of the raw ingredients. Once the items in the hot pot is cooked, it is ready to be ladled into your bowl. Now let the feast begin. We're just going to start from left to right beginning with my husband. He's going to ladle some of the broth over his noodles and then scoop out whatever else he wants to eat from the hot pot. My brother-in-law is going to go next, then my sister-in-law, and lastly, moi. This is my delicious bowl here, and I love seafood. That's it folks. Thank you all for watching my videos. Have a fabulous day everyone, and until my next video, I'll see you later, alligator. Bye!